Shelley, Oppen, and the Planksip poet. Poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world. Percy by Shelley. Poets are the legislators of the unknown world. George Oppen. Poets are the legislators of knowledge. Dr. Corey Elliott. Oppen reconstituted Shelley's legislator. This further necessitates atheism, creates the Frankenstein within his second wife, and romanticizes the romantic. My Mises is imitation of the ancient Greek variety, from the allegory of the cave to the category of the brave. Nations of one unite islands of isolation. Soldiers of Soledad, the descent of man, identity, poetics at its conception. Annunciation beyond belief provides temporal relief from the mythical. Dr. Corey Elliott's aphoristic command is so matter of fact. Poets are the legislators of knowledge. Wisdom of humankind, anthropomorphized and poetic. A Turing point of propagation. A cadence collector of virtue. A virtuoso of the intellectual at worst. With the possibility of poetry in the forecast. The echoes define the weather or not. Conjoined at birth, the sojourn is seminal. Segregation is nonsensical. Resistance is frugal. Free won't is the new free will. In this land of milk and honey, the nectars of the gods, so we think. Fruits should be labors of love for all who respond. Stimuli are the litmus. As legislators of knowledge, we have a responsibility. This ability to respond is paramount to the continuation of all species, subjective in nature, a quantum of consciousness, just like Wallace Stevens describes in his anecdote of the jar. If our poets are the legislators of knowledge, how do we impart this epistemology on the domesticated? Enslavement of any species is enslavement by definition. Consider yourself in opposition to ignorance. Blissful ignorance is indifference. Now you know. You can't unknow the known. Legislate your proxy, exercise your inner will, free man. Woe, man, slow down, catch your breath, marshal a plan, a collective for sure, individual none the less. Legislate then, never. Mm.